An inductor is a two-terminal passive device designed to store electrical energy in the form of a magnetic field. It plays a crucial role in various circuits, ranging from power supplies to tuning circuits. Inductors are versatile devices, converting electrical energy into magnetic energy and back into electrical energy as needed, making them essential for both energy storage and regulation. When an electric current flows through a wire, it generates a magnetic field around the conductor. By winding the wire into a coil, the magnetic field becomes concentrated and intensified. Adding a magnetic core further enhances the strength of this field. This combination of a coil and core is called an inductor, also referred to as a coil, choke, or reactor. Inductors behave differently in direct current and alternating current circuits. In DC circuits, the current flows in one direction, creating a constant magnetic field around the inductor. This makes the inductor behave like a bar magnet, with a defined north and south pole. Inductors in DC circuits often act as electromagnets, used in applications like relays and switching circuits. In AC circuits, the current alternates direction, producing a time-varying magnetic field. The inductor responds to this fluctuating current by continuously changing its magnetic polarity. This behavior is at the core of how inductors regulate energy flow in AC circuits, such as in transformers or tuning circuits. One of the fascinating properties of inductors is their ability to convert electrical energy into magnetic energy and reverse this process. According to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, a time-varying magnetic field passing through a coil induces a voltage across the coil. This phenomenon allows inductors to transform magnetic energy back into electrical energy. When alternating current flows through an inductor, it generates a time-varying magnetic field. This magnetic field induces an opposing EMF, known as self-induced EMF or back EMF, which opposes the change in current, as per Lenz's law. This opposition stabilizes the current flow in the circuit, and helps manage fluctuations, contributing to smoother operation. The inductor's ability to resist changes in current is called inductance. The amount of inductance depends on the factors like the number of turns in the coil, permeability of the core material, and the coil's geometry. Inductance is a fixed property of the inductor, much like resistance is for resistors, and capacitance is for capacitors. It remains constant regardless of whether the current is AC or DC. This property is analogous to inertia in mechanical systems, where it resists any change in the motion of an object. For example, a flywheel continues rotating even after the driving force is removed due to inertia. Similarly, an inductor resists changes in current by generating a back EMF that opposes sudden variations, ensuring a smoother flow of current. However, in AC circuits, the inductor also presents a frequency-dependent opposition to the flow of current, called inductive reactance. Unlike inductance, which is a fixed property, inductive reactance depends on the frequency of the alternating current. As frequency increases, the inductive reactance also increases, causing the coil to oppose the current more strongly. A useful analogy for understanding the operation of inductors is to compare them to springs in mechanical systems. Just as a spring resists changes in its length and stores potential energy when stretched or compressed, an inductor resists changes in current and stores energy in its magnetic field. When the force on a spring is removed, it returns to its original state by releasing energy, just as an inductor releases energy when the current decreases. The ability of inductors to rapidly store and release energy makes inductors ideal for applications that require fast response times, such as smoothing out voltage fluctuations, filter unwanted frequencies, and manage energy flow in transformers.
In systems with fluctuating currents, such as power supplies, inductors absorb excess energy during peaks and release it during dips, ensuring a stable flow of current. For example, if we switch a light bulb on and off rapidly without an inductor, the light will flash. If we connect an inductor into the circuit, the bulb will remain illuminated during the interruptions. In radio and communication devices, inductors are used in LC circuits to filter specific frequencies. In power transmission, inductors are an integral part of transformers, which are used to step up or step down voltage levels across the power grids. I hope this explanation helps you understand more about inductors and how they work. For related videos click the i button, or follow the link in the description. Thank you for watching.